Whether it's a dill ball or a dead ball, it's the sound of that ball that has neighbors up in arms. These courts probably 50 feet from my doorstep. Uh, I can hear all of the action in my bedroom in the back of the house. Mary McKee lives across the street from the Walter Reed Community Center tennis courts that as of late have become the hot spot for pickleball players across the area. We've got more people coming, more people playing, more people wanting to play. Vaughn lives in Annandale and has been playing since the summer. He says he gets that the noise might be a nuisance for some. Here, this pickpock of the pickleball, I don't know if it's, you know, irritating for some, but for us it's great. He and the others say they follow the rules, only playing during the hours permitted 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, that works in the uh, Walt Reed Center. Tells to stop at 10 o'clock, he'll come out and be like, everyone out, like right now. Those neighbors I spoke with who are upset about this say it's not that they're anti pickleball, it's just that they want some guidelines put in place. We're not against the sport of pickleball. We want you to have fun. We want you to go out and exercise. We want you to be with your friends. McKee says the hours need to be shortened, that something should be done to block out the sound, and that the number of pickleball courts should be spread out. We've got 80 plus tennis courts available across the county that could be dual purpose. The players offered some suggestions. If someone's able to create a paddle, it's like, you know, noise canceling or whatever, like I'll, I'll be down for that. Maybe put in some sound walls here. McKee says she and her neighbors have spoken to the county about this a number of times. Now they're considering taking legal action if changes aren't made. In Arlington, Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.